The Helium Relay Issue Monster is back. Let's talk about why it came back and what I'm doing to resolve it. Hey, this is Rochelle and welcome to Multiple Passive Streams of Income. There's so many different internet providers and so many different routers. So there's really no one size fits all resolution to this Helium Relay issue. There's a lot of trial and error, and after you make your changes, whether it be changing an antenna, changing the placement of your Helium device, or in this case, port forwarding and obtaining a static IP address for your Helium device, it can take a week or more for the network to sync up and for you to see the results of the change. So I'm gonna put a link in the description below to the previous video I made on this topic because your internet provider may require you to use an app to access the back end of your router like Spectrum does, which is a different process than other YouTube videos demonstrate. So this video may be useful for your circumstance. Now with Spectrum, you have to use an app to make changes to your Spectrum router, where other routers allow you to open a browser, type in the admin IP address, which is found on the sticker attached to the router, and then you're able to make the changes online. When I completed the port forwarding steps on the Spectrum app, the relay message disappeared but it returned about a week later. So I called Spectrum and I found out Spectrum doesn't allow static IP addresses unless you have a business account with them, which is more money. And also you have to pay $20 monthly for each static IP address, which is ridiculous. So this made me look into this situation and I wanted to just to find another solution. So. I wondered if I owned the router and did not utilize Spectrum's router, would that allow me to block their dynamic IP addresses that change from time to time? So Spectrum's IP addresses change, I think every three months, I think a rep told me. And when it happens, the IP addresses of the devices connected to their router change as well. And this is what causes the relay issue the Helium network needs your device to have a static IP address so it knows that it's communicating with the same device each time. So I chatted with a Best Buy rep online and I asked if I purchase my own router, can I assign a static IP address to devices connected to it and block Spectrum's dynamic IP address changes? And the rep told me, yes, that it's possible. And he recommended this router. Now, if you decide to buy your own router, do more research on the router because they have different specs. But for this particular router, it seems to be what I needed because the router is in a small studio apartment. There's only three devices hooked up to it, which is the TV, uh, my best friend's brother's cell phone who lives there and the Bobcat Miner. So this situation doesn't call for a more expensive router because the router is in close proximity to the Bobcat and there aren't a lot of devices hooked up to the internet at the same time. So here's a picture of the original modem and router from Spectrum. And here's the configuration of the setup. You have the cable coaxial wire coming out of the wall. It's going into a splitter. One wire is connected to the cable box. The other wire is connected to the modem. And then the modem is connected to the router with an ethernet cord. And the TV, cell phone, and Bobcat is connected via Wi-Fi. Now, the Aris router that I bought, it's a modem router combo type. And what I needed to do to hook this up is I just disconnected the cable coaxial cord from the Spectrum modem and I connected it to the Aris modem router. And then I just plugged in the router. I waited for the green lights to be solid and then I called Spectrum. 
I gave the rep the HFC Mac ID number, which is on the router sticker and is also on a sticker that's on the quick start guide. And with that, the Spectrum rep was able to reboot the Aris modem router from his end. Once the green lights were solid again, I then needed to connect the Bobcat via Wi-Fi to the new Aris modem router. So to do this, you have to put the Bobcat into pairing mode. You will need to put the pairing pin into the pinhole of the back of the Bobcat for a few seconds until the light turns blue. From the Helium app home tab, you want to click on the Helium device. Then you want to click the gear icon on the device tab. Then you want to click pair. That's going to allow you to scan again. So click scan again. The scan should locate the device. Tap the device, then click Wi-Fi network. Find your Wi-Fi, which in this case is Aris, and you may need to enter the Wi-Fi password, which is located on the sticker on the router or also on the quick guide. Then click forget, click connect, and then the light on the Bobcat should turn green. Now, once you have your Aris router connected and rebooted by Spectrum, I needed to complete the port forwarding and static ID address on the Aris router. So I put the IP address in a browser. You will find this information in the Aris quick start guide, along with the username, which is admin and the password, which is password, all lowercase letters. Then you click apply. You go to the LAN setup tab, click client list, and the devices connected to your router should show under the attached client list. You'll need the MAC address of your Helium device, as you see on the screen. And you also have the IP address for the Helium device listed here as well. You then click add, you name the reserved IP client, then you enter the IP address, the same one from the quick start guide and that Mac address. Then you click add client, then click apply. You have just set up the static IP address for your Helium hotspot. Now let's do the port forwarding part of the um, solution. So from the firewall tab, you're gonna click virtual servers slash port, then click add, add the description, add 44158 to all of the port fields. The format is TCP and enter the private IP address if it's not already pre-filled. Then click add virtual server. Now the Bobcat is added to the page with the ports assigned to 44158. So it took about four days for this device to show the relay was fixed. While the network was syncing, the relay message remained, but then when it finally fully synced four days later, it was gone, the relay message was gone and hopefully gone forever. Now, if this relay message returns, because it's only been a couple of days after the resolution took effect, I will update the description below. So if you see no updates, this means the solution has continued to work. I will also add links to the description below where you can see written tutorials of the two processes that I demonstrated with the Aris modem router. So on the screen is the number you can call to contact Spectrum if you need help. And if you need to contact Aris, chatting online with them may be better than calling them. Because when I was doing this, I called and I waited over 45 minutes to talk to a rep. So if you want to chat with an Aris rep, go to aris.com slash self help. On the right side of the page, you're gonna see a chat icon, tap it. On the live chat 
tab, you're gonna see the hours of operation and a button to start a live chat with a representative. Lastly, you may be able to save money by owning your own modem router. So check your cable bill to see if you're being charged for your modem and or router. And if you are, return your modem and or router to your internet provider to eliminate that monthly charge. If you like this content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell after you subscribe so you are notified when I drop new videos. Please like or dislike, definitely comment, or interaction counts. As always, thanks for your time as I know you could be any other place right now. Take care.